Uh, once again, I wish a warm uh, greeting to all of you. And uh, today I would like to speak about uh, the implementing uh, the special traffic regime in UNESCO uh, protected site of the city of uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, so first, let me showcase uh, the scenario when it began. Dubrovnik in 2017, uh, as you previously know, because I spoke many times about it, uh, was on the list uh, of the cities to uh, to be one of the cities that are uh, under uh, endangered uh, site because of the crowdness of uh, overpopulation, uh, tourism overcrowdness, and etc. And therefore, we had to take an actions uh, goals in uh, and to find a way how to go in uh, sustainability. Um, you can see here the pictures, how the Dubrovnik looked back in 2017. And uh, as a result of our actions, we implemented uh, the program, which is called the Respect the City uh, in uh, late 2017, uh, where we set a main goal for us to prevent further degradation of the quality of life of residents, to preserve the fragile culture and the natural heritage of the city, and to enhance the quality of the visitors' experience. Because uh, we were aware that our citizens were not very lucky. And then we said, if our citizens are not lucky, then uh, the guests that are coming to our city uh, will be uh, less luckier than the citizens, of course and the quality of provided uh, service is poor. So uh, we decided to uh, change direction and we decided to manage the Dubrovnik tourism. Just a second. Sorry. <clears throat> So we implemented short and mid-term measures, uh, which were adopted uh, in the late 2017. Uh, most important uh, are new uh, boarding rules for the cruise ships uh, with a better schedule of arrivals uh, and the less uh, crowds. Uh, so we had a rule, not more than two cruise ships at the same time, uh, which was approved uh, with a CLIA. Uh, organization of cruise uh, ship companies. And uh, this was very important for us because with this, uh, we lowered down uh, the immediate number of guests in the old uh, city. Also, we use the various smart city tools and deployed uh, smart parking, 100% electric uh, car sharing, uh, digital city card, and etc. So in 2019, traffic uh, was in the contact zone of the historic uh, core, pro proved to be one of the biggest challenges. So we have we sorted the effect of a number of uh, people in the old city, but uh, the traffic continued uh, to be one of uh, the biggest problems that we were facing because everyone wants to go in the zone around the old uh, city. Uh, we implemented the Boost Web Shop uh, program, uh, which actually is an uh, electronic service uh, where every bus uh, that is coming to a nearby zone by the old city has to pre book their arrival in order to be there. If they do not book it, then of course they are paying a very high uh, fines. So uh, this service was implemented in 2019, and now it works uh, perfectly. Uh, also, the travel agencies and vehicle owners uh, are obligated to buy online vouchers if they are operating uh, with the cruise ships. So then we have control uh, even for those guests that are coming uh, with the buses, uh, uh, from the cruise ships, uh, we know exactly at what time, at what date, uh, what number of buses is going to come. And therefore, of course, we can organize uh, the area. Also in 
2020, uh, what we implemented in this zone around the old city is the technical and traffic uh, technology solutions, uh, where actually we do not need any more main power to control this zone. Everything is done uh, via cameras. Uh, so uh, totally uh, the zone is controlled with the 10 cameras wherever vehicle come in the uh, zone of a protected area, uh, we have, uh, they have to have a reason to come in uh, that uh, zone. And uh, what is very important for us, uh, it's actually information. Uh, and we were doing that uh, because of information which was crucial uh, for uh, us. The system turned off. I hope that you can hear me now. Can you hear me? Yes, because it suddenly everything shut was shut down for us. So, okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, what was uh, our main goal is actually uh, to have the first thing: information. How many buses or tourists is going to come at a certain day at Pile Gate, which is entrance of the old city? Uh, we got that information through this bus web shop system. And uh, from uh, 2019 to 221 to uh, nowadays, uh, we have full control over uh, the zone and uh, we can uh, lower down the number of the buses uh, in a certain period of uh, day, certain period of hour. And uh, with this, uh, we uh, avoid uh, over problems. And uh, just recently, uh, seven days ago, the University of Dubrovnik uh, had their uh, study, uh, which they were examined in the year 2019 with 2022. So they concluded that the city of Dubrovnik made a great success considering managing uh, tourists, because in 2022, we had more people in the old city uh, throughout the year but they were uh, spread uh, much better than back in 2019. So uh, it was uh, like we were saying at the beginning of uh, trying to manage in tourism, it's not about the number, it is about the flow. So uh, actually the uh, better spreading within a day, within a week, within a month, and within a year, it's uh, crucial to manage a tourist destination. In 2022, in 2022, we decided to do a step forward. A step forward uh, was uh, first. Uh, I, I'm. Uh, I, I have a double service. I'm a mayor and I'm a member of a Croatian National Parliament. So as a member of national Croatian National Parliament, I proposed to National Parliament that uh, we uh, have to have uh, a law that uh, gives opportunity to local communities that are under UNESCO World, uh, that are on UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, to adopt a special traffic zone in protected cultural historical entity and contact zone. So that law. Uh, is passed in 2022. Uh, why is that important? Uh, due to liberalization of uh, car uh, taxi industry, uh, Dubrovnik was heavily hit uh, back in 2019 because with liberalization of taxi industry, uh, many taxi drivers from all over Croatia uh, were coming to the city of Dubrovnik uh, to do a taxi service. So uh, as an example, uh, before taxi liberalization, we had 180 taxi providers. After taxi liberalization, back in 2017, we had 4,500 taxi providers. So you can imagine what impact to the old city and UNESCO World Heritage Site is when 4,500 taxi drivers are constantly driving around and so on. So our lives and the quality of life, especially the people that are living within the old city, uh, gets worse and worse because it's very hard uh, for them uh, to approach to their homes 
or at least nearby their homes, since it's parking just uh, outside of the city hall's perimeter. So <clears throat> therefore, knowing that uh, we cannot cancel the law of liberalization, uh, taxi industry, uh, we suggested to the government that we need to pass a traffic uh, special law, which is going to protect traffic zone around the UNESCO World Heritage uh, site. So as I uh, previously was speaking about the uh, bus web shop and uh, organizing buses around the old city, but this, with the same system, absolutely the same system with the same cameras and everything, uh, we are now implementing uh, the new uh, traffic regulations around the old city, which is going to give priority to all of those that are living in the city of Dubrovnik. So the citizens of the Dubrovnik, uh, but for all of those that are doing business in the city of Dubrovnik, uh, they will they could come around uh, in the protected zone by specific rules. So not everyone could come, and uh, with that, uh, we are absolutely sure that uh, we will uh, have success considering lowering uh, lowering down the number of cars around uh, the old city, uh, increasing the quality of life of our citizens, and also uh, final result will be a lower impact, lower negative impact uh, on the UNESCO uh, protected uh, heritage site, uh, which is also very, very important. Uh, we are now in process of uh, passing uh, this local uh, law for limited traffic uh, zone. Uh, we have um, just a public inquiry about uh, these uh, limited traffic uh, zones. We have more than 100 uh, questions and uh, proposals uh, on uh, that new uh, local uh, law. I hope that uh, by one month time, we'll, we will finish uh, with answering uh, for all of those proposals and inquiries about uh, that zone. And uh, I do hope that in one month time, the city council of Dubrovnik will pass uh, the limited traffic zone law in the uh, city, which is going to be a first uh, law, local law, uh, like this one in Croatia. So there is no example in Croatia uh, about uh, limited traffic uh, zones. So we are first that are stepping in uh, this uh, uh, footsteps. Uh, it is going to be hard. Uh, we are aware of that. Uh, there will be uh, a lot of negative uh, image on myself as politicians, because if you uh, forbid uh, to someone something, uh, no one likes you. This is normal thing, of course. Uh, but we are looking uh, on uh, long run, uh, short run, short run. Definitely, uh, people see just the obstacles. On the long run, they will see uh, many, many uh, advantages of uh, this uh, zone. So uh, I'm absolutely sure that uh, two or three years from now, uh, people uh, will see how much, uh, how easier uh, their uh, life will be around the old city, uh, how better the quality of the air will be around the old city. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, I think the future of uh, not just the city of Dubrovnik uh, transport, uh, but uh, many historical city uh, lies in uh, public transport. Uh, people need to get to use that. Uh, it's not uh, that easy to get to historical sites. Uh, and uh, on long, long run, I hope in the next next year, we are going to build a parking place, uh, which is uh, more than one thousand parking spaces will be uh, will be reserved for all of those that want to come and see the Broadway. And uh, from that zone, which is outside of the uh, old city, uh, they could use uh, local uh, transportation, which will drive them to historical site. And we call that park and drive. Uh, I think uh, this is a crucial thing uh, for sustainability of uh, the cities. Uh, so as I previously said, uh, we 
did successfully solve the first problem, that was overcrowdedness. And now this is the second problem, uh, which is a problem of uh, overcrowded uh, streets with a car. So I do hope that in one year time, uh, I will speak with you uh, and presenting the results that we got uh, from this action. So thank you very much for your attention.